Doing that thing where it's up in the corner again. Good to go. Where would you like me to take? Let's go to Ford's. I mean, my sanctuary. Yes, noble psycho master. In recognition of your hard work, dedication, and mental agility. I'm proud to bestow upon you the official merit badge for Pyrokinesis. Cool. I can't wait to burn... Inside your mind? Well, I thought you'd like to be in a familiar place for your first pyrokinesis lesson. Lesson? Shh, now, now, think of something you'd like to burn. Ah, oh, yes, I heard you were raised in the circus. Uh, but why would you want to burn all these happy memories here? If they were happy memories, I wouldn't have run away. My dad, he hates psychics, and he knew I was becoming one. So all day long, he would force me to practice my acrobatics, hoping to distract me, or maybe hoping to kill me. I never was sure. Now why are you still talking when you could be burning stuff? Great, great, think. You're getting warmer. Keep going. Ooh, it's getting hot in here. Rasputin, lock your mental focus on this last one and hold it while you use your pyrokinesis power. Focus. Excellent work. Fire is pretty. Okay, that's the end of the lesson. You're free to go, but you have to promise me, only use your power, pyrokinesis only, when it's very, very important, or it's really, really entertaining. <laughs> I promise. And if you're doing it to impress girls, Make sure none of them have on a lot of hairspray. <laughs> yep. Yep. Before you go electrocute, now there's what? You snap the dip hook it up, lock which brings you to the end. Jesus Christ. I already know how all this stuff works, please, game. You don't have to explain it to me again. Outside the main lodge. Oh, bring me back a burger this time, will you?
Move along, little doggy. Nothing to burn here. Problem with water. It's a bunch of hooey anyway. Some old gypsy curse about how we're all supposed to die in water. If you can believe that. Oh, I thought it was about the whole thing with the brain eating fish that walks out of the lake at night to hunt for victims. Well, see ya! Um, hey Raz, I saw you and Lily talking in the coach's class, and I was wondering, were you asking her to? Go with you? What? No! I'm here to train. No distractions. Excellent! Bye! Dogen! Are you okay? I had the strangest machine induced dream about you. TV? Well, first of all, Sasha Nine invited me down to his secret lab, and... TV? He's completely brainless. The dream was true. Dogen, don't worry. I know where your brains are. They're in... Like this crazy, dream thorn bush straight jacket tower place. Aggie sack. You go to the TV lounge. I'm on the case. I just need a little more advanced training to prepare. Hello, children. I hope you're all having a happy and safe summer day here at Whispering Rock. I just wanted to tell you that we are having a party out here on the floating dock, and I'd love for you all to come. It's levitation training, baby, and it's fun, fun, fun. Just grab a canoe and come join the party. Hey, Elton, have you heard anything else about that thing in the lake? Huh? Oh, not really. The fish are kind of going crazy about Bobby and Benny over there torturing anything that swims too close. Oh, somebody should do something. Yeah. Well, I suppose I could go talk to them. Don't be 
flotation class has already begun. Come on out to the floating dock before the party is over. I remember what I was supposed to have to do. You're supposed to talk to uh, Crawler to get the, the, the thing. Check it out, Admiral. I'm an oarsman, first class. Hey, it looks like all those weeks in the canoe simulator really paid off. Uh, yes, sir, Admiral, sir. Well, let's get you afloat. Finest of the fleet. I'll take good care of her, sir. That lake isn't as peaceful or as harmless as she looks. <laughs> now, don't take her out too far. Oh, no, you don't. There you are, darling. Don't worry, I got in contact with your father and he's going to be here tomorrow to pick you up. My father? Oh, go to go. The race is starting. Lily! Oh, hey, Raz. Listen, I made you something. It's kind of stupid, but... They stole Dogen's brains! No, he's just like that. I had a nightmare where this mad scientist guy said he was going to take them out, and... Was it a creepy-looking freak with a shower cap and a stainless steel three-pronged claw? Hey, that's my nightmare. So it's not just me. But how? And why all the meat? I don't know, but I think it's time I find out where this is coming from. Let's rendezvous tonight at the old boathouse for debriefing. This is so cool! Yeah! It feels like that time in True Psychic Tales 314 where... Shut up! Oh! Sundari as fuck. Alright. Agent Vodello? I have been ordered to report here for levitation training. I've already done the coach's obstacle course, and Sasha showed me how to shoot. You know, I'd expect that sort of recklessness from Orso, but Sasha? Agent Nine said you were the most powerful levitator the Psychonauts had. Sasha said that? Really? I didn't know he noticed. Well, you know, I only work with the best teachers. Flirt! Okay, let's party. Agent Vodello? Where are you? On TV, of course. Where I was always meant to be. I mean, look at my hair, darling. How can hair this fabulous not be on TV? Now, darling, the best way to learn levitation is to just try it. I'm going to give you a levitation learner's permit. It will only work while you're in my mind. After you finish my course, I'll give you the real thing, baby. First, you gotta show me you know how to use it. Now bounce on up here and follow me, darling. There you go. Now for this last one, you're really gonna have to fly. Once you get up in the air, try using your thoughts as a balloon to float. Just jump for those rings as high as you can and then do your side float. Don't be afraid, darling. other side of the party and I'll give you that merit badge for real. Never keep a girl waiting long, young man. Stay on the 
the ball in here, Rasputin, if you want to get high. And see if you can get all those rings spinning, Mr. DJ. Sugar in my bowl, darling. Now just follow the flowers, won't you? And try to stay rolling at all times. That is the theme of this party. young man. Now I'm not saying that you will fall, but if you ever did, I'll put a ball return down here for you. Just jump in there if you need to come back up here in a hurry. Darling, float over here, will you? These rings aren't spinning and they are ruining my party. Remember to use your side float. I'm not saying it won't ever let you down, but it will let you down nice and slow. Hey, wanna dance? Yay! I already am! Come join us! now. Ooh, look at the crowd. Things, see that draft up above, darling? Jump into it and float and see where it takes you. This room's no fun. Let's leave, baby. Now you definitely don't want to go in there. That's a party killer right there.
if you're not on the ball when you enter that circle, you might be seeing stars instead of being one. I'm sure that's an acronym for something, but I don't actually know what it is. Oh yeah, no one lives forever. Isn't that that, like, spy RTS base building game, I think? Like a, you're like a super villain or something? Or that's a different game I'm thinking of. I will remember it. I think I remember seeing it on GOG Storefront. Are you talking about the, like the James Bond games? Is those two.
When you are levitating, you are also protected from all sorts of icky things. But some things, like those spikes, those are always bad news. Whether you are... Mm. That shouldn't be happening. Darling, do you have some problems with water? Do you want to talk about it? Uh, it's a long story. Maybe later. Okay, I'm always here for you, darling. Let me just say that it's very normal for boys your age. Yeah. Oh, no. Milkies. I don't know, Age of Vanilla would be top tier, mommy. In my honest opinion.
in some areas, you might get a little more oomph than usual. to use your side float again to get those rings spinning.
this reminds me of? That, that Dreamcast game, Space Channel 5. and learn, kid. Hey, will you teach me how to dance? Come on, dance, baby! Who's that I see? It's Rasputin, the rolling rock star! And just in time, the party was dying without you, darling. Here, I have a little party favor for you. Some LSD! Am I right? That was popular in the 70s. Darling. Thank you, Agent Vodello. Now it's back to the lab to save Dogen. Dogen's not in the lab, sweetie. He's watching TV in the lodge with the other children. I meant the dream Dogen from my brain tumbler vision. If I can find out what's happening to him, maybe that would give me a clue about who stole real Dogen's brain. Oh, I'm afraid he's just like that. <laughs> Everyone keeps doing Dogen so dirty. I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick. You just like that! Accidentally muted the microphone. you like let's go to Ford's I mean my sanctuary yes noble psycho master in recognition of your hard work dedication and mental agility I'm proud to bestow upon you the official merit badge for telekinesis <laughs> Thank you. 
With telekinesis, we can use our minds to grasp an object and then throw it. Go ahead, try it yourself. Oh, <laughs> good throw! Now, let's see if you can make it through the hoop. Hey, I've been thinking about that. Why'd that guy hate psychics so much? What do we ever do to him? Well, psychics killed his whole family. Cursed them and all their descendants to die in water. Whoa. Yeah. Talk about baggage. Tell me about it. And the weird thing is, I'm pretty sure he's actually psychic himself. Ha! Huh. Cuckoo! Well, you can work on him when you get home. For now. Oops! Now, try to throw that baby right through the hoop. Oh, great shot! Let's see you do that again. Through the hoop, Rasputin! Bingo! Okay, last one. Thread the needle, as they say. Now, let me show you something. Pick that trash can up and aim your toss at the side of the caravan. Very nice. Now, set me down easy and go pick up something that won't blow up your head if you make it mad. Can't get a good... Kablooey! Throwing something against a wall is a little more destructive than tossing it around on the ground, isn't it? Oh no! Another one of my senses! Now, how'd that get in here? Looks like we're in luck. He doesn't see you yet. Why don't you smash him on the head with that handy trash can? Come on! Use telekinesis to pick... Oh, be careful now! Bullseye! Looks like the trash took him out. <laughs> Next lesson, we'll work on your snappy one-liners. Very nice. Now, set me down easy and go pick up something that won't blow up your head if you make it mad. Agent Crawler? Job, how good? I saw you raking leaves. Was that a disguise? Uh, yes. Well, God, I have many disguises. It helps me keep an eye on you kids wherever you go. <laughs> Now, <clears throat> when I'm in disguise, I'm... Say no more. I'd better... Good luck. Ha! Where would you like... Bring me near the geodesic psycho-isolation chamber. Roger that, Ranger Cruller. with small bully assistant. Geez, I don't know. Could you put him in that deadly Nelson you were talking about? Could. On such tiny opponent, all blood might drain out ear holes. Ah! Shut up, Penny. On other hand, blood from constricted trunk could rush to tongue. And? Tongue swells, pops. Most blood drains back down throat. Interesting. Less mess that way. Mouth stuffed with giant tongue can't scream. So quiet. Ah! Shut up, Benny. You have something less drastic? Well, could use half Deadly Nelson. What's that? Like Deadly Nelson, but less dying. How much less? Maybe yeah, half. What happens the other half of the time? Opponent leaves. Spends the rest of short life praying for death. Hey! Can you hear me down there? Maloof? Shut up, Benny. Seriously, Maloof. I apologize. A call off you, goon, and I'll never bother you again. Ever! The thing is, Benny, you're never gonna bother me again either way. So you're gonna have to offer something a lot better than that. Like what? Any ideas, Mikhail? No one you think about giant hairless beer? No. Out of ideas. Preparing Nelson. But wait, wait! Uh, maybe. Uh, yeah, maybe I did see something like that. Uh, give me a minute to think. You ready to talk, Benny? Hold on. It'll come to me. Where's the platinum chip, Benny? I'm about to fucking pop a cap in your ass. Yep. Yep. Have 
having trouble finding those really deep, valuable arrowheads? Well, I've got a great deal on a slightly used dowsing rod up here in the main store that will practically dig them up for you. Okay, I'm a certified limitator now. Ready to roll. Hmm, I've been running some tests. It seems that the sensitive circuitry of the brain tumbler is picking up too much psychic interference to be safe. The thoughts of some other entity are interlacing with yours at a dangerous level, which explains many of the strange things you've seen. I must call off the experiments until we know more. Sasha, there's no time. I think my vision about Dogen came true. I'm worried it's gonna happen to the others if we don't get to the bottom of this quick. But we don't know where the foreign projections are coming from yet. Is there a faster way to find out than sending me in there to investigate?
screaming? All right, I remember. <laughs> oh, good boy. There's that pesky brain. Here's a tissue. Now, don't you feel better, my dear lad? TV? Of course! Right here! And this bad tooth. We'll just drop it in the old garbage chute. Now, don't chew solid foods for six hours! Lily! So smart. Soft gelatinous underbelly? Here I come. Yeah. 
Is this a nightmare? Or a plan? Or both? Wait a minute! Rasputin, I'm sorry. I had to abort the experiment. Something unbelievably urgent has come up and I must leave immediately. I know! You'll never believe- Hold that thought. In a rush. Official Psychonauts business. Wait! So is this! Official Psychonaut, eh? You forgot your... Hmm... Hey, that white room. I know. It's from Oleander's mind. I think I was in the coach's dream that whole time. Ever since I stepped through the static in the caravan, it felt funny. I knew I wasn't obsessed with meat. But Maury is. And was stealing psychic brains to arm a fleet of deadly tanks, apparently. I've got to tell Lily. She's waiting for me down by the boathouse. Down by the... water? Uh-oh. Better hurry. down by the boathouse cutscene and then I'll end it here. Yep. Ah, what are you doing, Rasputin? Stop. Is that even a rail to gr glide on? Ah, oh, it's like nighttime now. Is that a mountain lion? Yes, sir, Admiral, sir. Bobby! Uh-oh. Look, I can explain. Sounds like you caught a bad cold. Maybe. But listen. I traced the psychic interference back to Coach Oleander's radio. He's been broadcasting his insane plot all over camp in his sleep. So he's really kidnapping children and stealing their brains to make weapons. Yes. Isn't that great? 
What? How is that great? Because this is an honest-to-goodness psychic emergency! And Sasha's not here. He left on some official psychonauts business. Mia left a note saying the same thing! Lily, a deranged man-man is building an army of psychic death tanks to take over the world. And there's no one who can stop him, except for you and me! Oh my god! Let's make out! Uh, what? Sorry, I'm just so excited. Since you showed up, Raz, things are so much more exciting. Sinister death plots, mad scientists, hideous monsters. Make out? How long have I ignored what this camp had to offer? Everything's new to me now, thanks to you. I mean, look at this flower. You mean, like, kiss? How many years have I been coming here and I've never even noticed a cool flower like this before? <laughs> Swim. Well, then use the bathysphere at the end of the dock. Quick! While the flipper prints are still glowing. Are you coming? I don't know how to drive that thing. Uh, I can't. I have to uh, check on the other children. Yes, yes. If the brains are out, they'll need supervision and possibly refrigeration. And how can you not know how to operate a bathysphere? Haven't you ever been to a summer camp before? I'll get a move on before that girl gets overly digested.